We're gonna deal of being from the bottom of one of the worst position jiu-jitsu, the full mount. Nobody likes to be on the bottom of this position. So this is for this reason that it's very important to know, have some skills on defense. We're gonna work first, I'm gonna show with you the best way uh, to start your defense, but obviously this is always something that the person on top can do uh, to work, right? We're gonna deal on defending an armbar afterwards, okay? So let's see first of all what I'm looking for to set the action to the bottom, and then you know what are our results once we arrive dealing of defending what they are, okay? So, we're on the bottom, my partner is on top. Every time, guys, that we are in this position, I never want to commit, to commit mistakes like uh, grabbing the collars. Whenever you guys are working, grabbing the collars, he can, number one, grow the positions, go with the knees, and leave my armpits, and you are not in control. You might gonna think that you're gonna be able to, you know, move your partner, bridge right and left, but he's gonna become more heavier as soon as he grow up. Plus, he can easily attack arms, arm, or neck. Never for the same reason, try crazy submissions like this. We are not in a close guard. We are not in a position where we have the control around his body. And never hug the person like this. This is not MMA. You don't risk to get punched in the face, okay? So our first goal is number one, keep our elbows in front of our partner's knees and keep our arms close to our chest. In this way, there is less chance person on top can attack arm bars, choice because your hands are close to your neck. You can also, you know, cross the grip if you like to, but what is important is to keep your back of the head off the ground. Why? Because if you guys are here, there is a little bit of space that is gonna stay in between my hand and my neck. And he can easily sneak the hands, control the colors. But whenever you guys are to keep it tight, elbows are against his legs, don't let him grow the position you, you crunch, now you're in a good spot. So this is the best way to set up your defense. Obviously, I didn't say, but it's obvious that you wanna keep your legs engaged. Never, ever keep your legs stretched like this. All the time, knees off the ground. Now, we do everything perfect, but the person on top starts to maybe make the control on the sleeve, and it's gonna, you know, grow the position to S mount first, and then you're gonna attack an arm bar. So, boom, right there. So, first of all, there are different ways, different escapes, obviously, you can use. You can control fingers to fingers, you can lock a, like a rear naked choke control, and obviously for any type of uh, difference control, you have a different escape. What I want to share with you today is number one, how to go fingers to fingers. Uh, fingers are, you know, a really thin part of the body, but really can absorb a crazy amount of pressure or weight. So whenever you control finger to fingers, obviously you cannot stay every day, you cannot stay a, a very long, but this is, can help you to survive on the, his first pulls. Now, what I want to do now is to focus on his legs. Person on top uh, that is making the armbar happening is in a good position whenever his feet are on the ground, he can squeeze the legs, and obviously the only thing he has to worry about now is the arm. So if you are fighting, you know, the pull to the pull, the pull to the pull, Sooner or later, of course, he might gonna have the best chance uh, to work a, a, the armbar. So for us, on the bottom, I wanna let the person on, uh, on top worry about something else. What I want to do is to start working on the farthest leg that is on top of my body. So I can do that. I have my fingers to feel the connection. I always recommend to go finger to finger instead of clapping the hands. Here the hands can easily slide, and obviously I don't like to do this, okay? Please don't do the preposition. Every time, finger to finger. Now, I want basically to like make a little hip escape and bring my left elbow towards the mat. I wanna move my forearm underneath my partner here. So look up, right here. And now I can crunch and see, I already lift the, uh, the leg of my partner off the ground. What I want to do is to move the leg of my partner in between my legs. Obviously, if you guys are crunching, you cannot do that. My goal is to use the mobility of my hips. I wanna move my knees to my chest, but be sideways. Now look, I'm gonna push, so drive the leg with my forearm. All the time, be careful, all the time, having your hand-to-hand -hand connection. Don't do this. Here, it's too late to defend. Remember, I wanna keep crunch 
I already locked the half guard. At this point, I just used to turn to the other side and look, I already climbed the position with my legs. What I used to do now is to start to step by step reach the mat with my elbows. So I start to pull, pull, pull. And now there is no armbar anymore. What you have to worry about is the way you are sitting up. I have a triangle lock with my legs. So this makes the position of my partner tighter. He cannot easily sit up because you are squeezing our legs together. But my left arm is in between his legs still. My right arm is not in danger anymore. But my left arm is if you just push to wrap. So what I want to do, hide my arm underneath. And both arms are gonna be here. So one arm, the arm that was attacked, gonna control the back. My left hand now should reaching the farthest collar. And I wanna pull my partner towards me all the time. Now detail. My partner will try to free his legs. When I try to, you know, hip escape, stuff like that. I want to move my left leg against my partner's heel. See, I wanna move my left leg right here against my partner's leg and I pull my partner towards me as I crunch. Right, my partner is in a very bad spot. It's already a leg drag. So we are out of problems. What I need to do now, focus on my partner's arm, I the arm, I the head, chest to chest, that was in front of his leg. I wanna pin my partner towards the ground. So we not only escape from a bad spot, but we also recover a better position, the side control. Let's do one more time on this side. So, at the beginning, we do everything correct. I'm here defending. Obviously, he can start his attack. So I pull, I like smile, and boom. Now, what I want to do is to start, instead of you know uh, pulling back hard, sooner or later, I'm gonna get tired of, of, this, of this pull. Solution, I wanna find the back first with my left elbow, the first one, the arm that he doesn't attack. So I need to create the angle and move my elbow underneath his leg. Now his leg is lit. Number one, I gotta receive less pressure on my body. Number two, he's more concerned about keeping the legs tight than the arm bar. So he rarely will focus on the arm itself. He's gonna focus more on his legs. Solution for us, turn, push, and lock. Now, look, with my triangle, I'm locking only below his knee. Once you guys are starting to circle, look, I pull out and I go to the position. See, I'm not controlling the knee anymore. I go higher, and my arm is off danger. I was on the metal rail. There are different ways you can sit up. I prefer to move both arms right here to the other side. Right hand grab the belt, or in case the belt is not available, the back right here. And now I shoot my arm in, left arm over his leg. In the same time, I want to switch my position of my legs. Look, I shoot. Reach, look now, I open my triangle, my left foot circle against his heel, see? And now, make a big step, right here, pull my partner against. I wanna pull him, control, and triceps in front of his knee. There is no way now that my partner can get out. I wanna make sure to move on the side where he's exposed, on this side. So look up, isolate the head, chest to chest connection, and I start to pin my part on the ground by cycling nice and tight and right at this point. I always prefer to don't go straight into the side into like a hook position because once you guys have the collar, your elbow automatically is deep on the mat and here you have so many options to do afterwards. So we're gonna stop just like this in a side control position. 